What's good traders? Welcome back to another recap and in today's one we're kind of going to be very quick very short because we're going to cut out all of the missed trades all of that doesn't mean anything to us we're only going to speak about the trades that we got involved in today. So for today we only got involved in one position um, I guess just one position and this gave us a total of 1.2 R so another day Wednesday we're up on the day so this week obviously does look like it might be a good week the week hasn't closed yet as yet. Um, but we up Monday, we up Tuesday, we up Wednesday, we up. Hopefully, this is going to be a great week, great trading week. So, otherwise, let's get into what happened here. What were my thought processes? Why was I getting into this long on US 30? So, overall, we have upside momentum for the day. So, coming into the day, we've got this indication of some upside momentum. We've got this corrective structure over here. So, already coming into the day, my mind is thinking that, okay, cool, I want to catch upside continuation. I want to trade in the direction of this most recent momentum. So, obviously what I'm doing then is just looking at where can I find sources of momentum so we see this nice red candlestick over there and obviously some momentum before we violate these structures and whatever other structures the rest of this momentum violated there in the past we basically see that some momentum came into the market here other momentum came in maybe somewhere a lot lower there obviously other origins or of momentum are not as obvious as this one so that's why I kind of chose to use this one now coming into I think time is a tad bit important here because if you guys can see the time that i got into this trade so we'll go down to a one minute time that i got into this position here i got into this position because we did tap into our point of interest where we were looking for that trading opportunity and obviously where were my stops my stops were below this low or below this level of structure over there now as we guys as you guys can see we came in with this ascending type of nature over here and obviously because it was coming around towards half past three where we know that there's going to be some momentum coming into that whole half past three vibes obviously i then adjusted and accommodated for the fact that okay cool we are going to have more momentum so what did i choose to do i chose to double the risk that i was taking and obviously extend my stops double the risk that I was taking. So whereas I would have caught a one is to eight, sorry, a one is to four. This position here, I guess, was somewhere around one is to two. Um, yeah, one is to two and a half. So kind of my RR was reduced because I did um, kind of increase the risk that I was taking on this pair. But nonetheless, it did kind of work out. So I'm gonna, I did forget the last time, but hopefully this time I won't forget. In edit, I'm gonna slap on some screenshots there just for you guys um, to see what was the overall entry, how did we manage all the additional positions that we added over there on the half past time, whatever the case is. The fact that we close out our positions there, we trail stops market came down took us out so basically yes we were running one is to 2.5 but because of how we manage this trade or at least how i manage this trade as usual split my positions into about four and then obviously half of my trade was at break even so the market did come back and kind of take me out at break even so i only had 50 percent running of this trade so that 50 percent i did close one of those positions at one is to two so that gave me a net one percent profit and then obviously the other position i had locked in at around one is two one so just somewhere in and around over here as you guys will see in the screenshot i did lock in my trade over there or wherever and price obviously did come back and take me out of that position so overall on the day guys we did net a nice 1.2 r and i guess teaching point just so that we obviously keep this as educational as possible is that Guys, if you guys did see, I did realize that we were coming into an environment again like Tuesday. We were again entering or at least we entered a position close to a time where the environment could change. So what I chose to do was I did it did choose to kind of increase my risk on this position but increasing my risk obviously i did understand that my rr on this trade will be decreased that obviously i'm taking more risk so obviously i'm going to be getting a lot less from this position but i did so understanding that there is going to be an additional amount of volatility coming into this market and all of that nice good stuff and i guess for today that kind of management style or at least this approach did work out and we didn't get stopped out at, at least we didn't get stopped out on double the risk that we were intending to take because that wouldn't have been nice and obviously when i did when i did make this decision to increase my stops um by double i had already made peace with what i am risking so i guess that was an important factor in me not being able to or at least me not closing my positions out and being all emotional and stuff like that and basically us sticking to our rules and sticking to our criteria i guess more than anything from these sessions i hope you guys are seeing how 
we we follow rule based systems we follow a rule based system like above everything else a rule based system will give us the best results so otherwise guys definitely do drop this video a like if you enjoyed the content do subscribe if it's easy your first time on the channel or if you are a returner and haven't subscribed yet do subscribe to the channel otherwise guys if you guys maybe want to learn my own rule based system guys let me know in the comments and then obviously i will see depending on the reception from you guys how eager are you guys to learn my own rule based system i will kind of make a plan for you guys so guys otherwise let's see you guys' opinions there your guys' comments there in the chats in the in the comment section below but otherwise i will see you guys in the future videos thanks so much for being part of this nice video cheers see you guys later enjoy the week